Hey guys, what's going on? Troy at Mountain Man Treasure here. And, uh, well, the sales are still coming in, sort of. Mountain Man. Mountain Man. Treasures. Welcome into the channel, guys. My name is Troy. I'm a reseller in Montana. I go to garage sales and estate sales and thrift stores. I buy stuff and then I sell it online. Uh, mostly, I do that on eBay. And like pretty much everybody else, there are exceptions those people saying i'm selling more than i ever sold before i'm not you know sales are definitely down uh, on ebay sales are down uh, on every platform frankly and uh you know it, some of that is external you know it, it's there's a lot of reasons we don't need to go into them there's a lot of reasons but note that this is starting to get warmer it slows down every year when things start to get warmer and people get outside so keep that in mind it's not all gloom and doom you can can you can still sell stuff it's just going to be a little bit slower now is the time where you're going out and you're sourcing it but uh, what we're going to do today is take a look at uh well uh, a whole big chunk of last week as it turns out let's take a look at what we sold we've got another one of our super cross figures going out chase section again this seems to be the best one that we picked up of the two i think i only have one of him left nine dollars 89 cents plus shipping for chase then we've got this guy the little fisher price horse guys keep an eye out for these guys they sell very well this one of the figures in the grab bag that i got at that garage sale where i drove uh, about an hour to get down there and i think i paid a quarter for most of these bags of figures definitely worth it this guy $14.71 plus shipping picked this up just this weekend Star Wars the role-playing game this is the second edition first edition of course would be worth a little bit more but these role-playing game books guys definitely good sellers I paid three dollars for this and it sold for $24.31 plus shipping now we sold a couple other things that we picked up this weekend we'll do this one first this one uh tupac mock valley this one sold despite all of this wear Th this is actually transfer from another album cover this isn't ripped on this it's actually just paper transfer from another but the result is the same right i mean the, the album covers screwed up but it's a good album it's a rare album and so it's still sold i took an offer of 20 bucks plus shipping on that and then let's turn this one right side up we've got some wu-tang this one i accepted an offer of 40 bucks plus a shipping i picked up 30 records i paid a dollar a piece so we're already in the profit with just these two they're nowhere near the best albums that we found and a day of smalls and viewer sales today. Interesting day in the mountain. Uh, we got, let's just start over here. We've got this pin going out, this rod and custom vintage pin. And that is headed out with a trio of ducks. And as we all know, you need at least three ducks to get them in a row. And so we sell ducks, if you're new to the channel, out of the store. You've got to get your ducks in a row if you're going to sell on eBay. And so we help you do that. And then a portion of the proceeds go to benefit the Gary Sinise Foundation, who does uh, a lot of great work with severely wounded veterans and first responders. So thanks to everybody that's been picking up ducks lately. We've got uh, this guy. we we got winter ducks heading out right now. We've got the scarf duck, the little top hat guy and he's all tangled up in lights and so that along with the pin all headed out to rachel rachel thank you so much for that then we've got these guys these guys are headed out to miss jane a longtime supporter of the channel we've got santa little santa duck jane's got a duck problem she knows it it's okay we've got the snowman We've got uh, we've got a little reindeer duck, and then breaking theme, we've got a little duck friend. We've got the giraffe. So those all headed out to Miss Jane. Thank you so much for that. And then we've got a little dinosaur duck as well. Look at that. He's cool. He is headed out 
to Joe. Joe, thank you so much for picking that guy up. We got a couple of non-duck sales here. This is a vintage Fisher Price piece. It is from the Loving Family collection, just the, the little boy. And uh, I've got two of those, actually. And uh, that guy sold for $6.98 plus shipping. We've got these just picked up over the past weekend on my trip to Billings. I think there's supposed to be one more with them, but we've got five of the Tupperware measuring cups. I got these all bundled in. I'm really not anything into these, honestly, and accepted an offer of $7.50 plus shipping for those. And then we've got a cool Philadelphia Phillies hat, baseball season going now, and so baseball stuff is going to start moving. And the Phillies hat sold to Australia, $19.20 plus that international shipping. One more. I almost forgot to include this, and it's going to a viewer as well. Look at that for the Sega. We've got uh, going into the collection of Kyle, made in Japan stamp. We've got Slider, sold this guy for six bucks plus shipping. So nice batch going out in today's mail. Very happy with this bunch of sales. We'll start off with this one. Brand new. We've got a set of, what is it, seven here? Yeah, that's seven. Uh, nut driver set. And uh, this sold for 15 bucks plus shipping. We've got back here some film, some, of course, expired film. If you find this stuff, guys, it does sell. Expired film, brand new, sells quite well. I sent out an offer on that that was accepted, $14 plus shipping. We've got another Coke figurine going out this one is called a sweet refreshment there it is right there pretty cool and this one with the certificate of authenticity sold for 25 dollars 59 cents plus shipping we've got a little foot i found this on my recent trip to billings actually i had about 10 minutes and ran into goodwill and found this guy sitting there got him for a buck and accepted an offer of 15 dollars very nice little foot here we got some Kyrie six uh sent out an offer got a counter i countered their counter and they accepted it 35 bucks plus shipping and then we've got a couple of albums going out we are the streets this one with uh with jadakus actually uh, sold for $22.39 plus shipping and then Jada Kiss himself Kiss the Game Goodbye good album to find guys it sold for $83.19 plus shipping fair bit of shipping that we've got for today wasn't sure how we would do over a Mother's Day weekend Friday Saturday actually kind of slow but things really picked up surprisingly on sunday so yeah we've, we've got some stuff to ship like this we'll start on the right hand side this time looks like i collected some dust and some hair i'll have to brush that off this is a tommy hilfiger hat tommy hilfiger deutschland kind of a cool hat and i accepted an offer of 15 bucks plus shipping on that here we got a colorado hat still new with tags got this from our good friends troy and deb here in town and accepted an offer on this of nine dollars 25 cents plus shipping and then a third hat going out this one international stussy this is a long bill on this one vintage stussy doesn't really another these were at the bottom of the bins they've been sitting in there for a while picked up some dust uh, this one doesn't appear to be worn vintage hat i've been hanging on to it for a while i think i could have eventually got more for it but you know how long do you wait for eventually right this has been sitting in the bottom of a bin i've held it for quite a while finally got a pretty solid offer on it and decided to take it 35 bucks plus they're paying international shipping to get that to canada now this is another international order just picked this up uh last week something like that or listed last week anyway it's all bundled up in here but this is a vintage army wool sweater 
and these do pretty well for me they tend to take a while to sell so i was surprised to see this one move out quite so quickly but it is going international it's headed to the uk 40 great british pounds i i think the, the pound is pretty close to a dollar i think that comes out to about 50 bucks is what we're looking at on that and it'll ship at uh probably the two pound rate so we'll make pretty decent money off of that i, I paid 50 cents so we'll definitely make money always i pick these things up when i find them the tmnt vhs tapes they don't sell for a lot especially if they're rough and a lot of times when i find them they're rough because these things got played a lot they sat around in the bottom of drawers stuff like that but if you can get it for cheap i've sold every one of these and the tmnt2 and three if you find all of them you can put them together and actually make a little bit more you can't pay much because they're not going to sell for much but i do sell them every time this one sold in about a week 398 plus shipping and so that i'm happy to move out this is uh same person picked up two of these of our coat girls there's the certificates and this one is an imperial choice it's from the indulgent dreams of coca-cola collection so there she got the uh the big bustly dress going on there one of these went for 19 dollars 19 cents and one i sent an offer out for uh for 20 and they took it and i don't remember which is which but we got her you'll see on the cards i guess when i put them up and then we've got her this is sparkling refreshment so both of those headed out together roughly 40 bucks for the set can't be mad at that here we've got an autograph heading on out this you can see right there we got vision and uh, corvus corvus glaive is that right uh the uh the actor is Michael James Shaw. And I accepted an offer on that $44.99 plus shipping. So that really solid sale. Back here, got a license plate from 1978, Massachusetts. And you can do well with old license plates. They're not necessarily going to move really quickly, but we sold this one for $15.99 plus shipping definitely worth it i won't pull that one out because it's sitting right back there twista it's kamikaze you can see it's beat up but it's a rare album i paid a dollar for it and the the vinyl itself is in really good shape it's just the cover you know the the, the cardboard the sleeve is shot but they'll still sell if they are rare and this one definitely is 40 bucks plus shipping for that what else we got here? Oh, this guy from uh, one of our recent videos. And uh, one of you decided to come in and pick this up. Uh, it was uh, Robert, right? Stay puffed finds. I break for garage sales. This is a cool license plate cover. Vintage, very heavy duty metal. Not the plastic ones that you're going to find. Uh, I paid $4 for that paying out, but I just, it, it was cool. And I knew there wasn't going to be any others out there like it i almost kept it to put on the thrift machine but decided to sell it and uh robert picked it up for 25 dollars 59 cents plus shipping robert thank you so much for the support this is uh man at arms masters of the universe and not i was gonna say not particularly old but i think it's now vintage because i think this was a 2003 that's wild uh that guy sold for three dollars 99 cents plus shipping uh, we'll do this this is a uh easy lister right front and back because it's still new and sealed didn't sell for much uh buck 98 plus shipping for mission impossible three we've got a hooters jersey this is from a uh a las vegas property right there martini uh it's uh i think it says right there yeah custom design and uh pretty rare couldn't really find any others like this i i held on to it for a while this is at least a year old but you're waiting for the right person to come along and decide they want it and eventually that right person does tend to come along accepted an offer of 38 bucks plus shipping we've got here some uh, tin, you know, some little litho. This is from a Marks 
playset from the castle playset. I've been parting this thing off. I've got one piece of the castle left. These, the little turrets, are heading out for, I believe it was $9.98 plus shipping. So, pretty good turnaround there. This I just picked up. It sold uh, inside of a day. Uh, surprising me. Uh, this one actually going international as well. New Berlin Creative Crafts. I bought a whole pile of various like sewing patterns, needlepoint, uh, you know, different, I think crafty. And I picked some of that stuff up. Uh, and so I started going through this the other day, sitting at, uh, at my parents' house. They were very easy to list. So we listed uh, some of these Christmas ornament type kits and somebody in Canada decided, you know what? I'm thinking Christmas already. I'm picking it up. So the little teddy bear ornament kit has sold for $3.95 plus international shipping. I paid, uh, you'll see the video here coming up before too long, but I paid $30 for, it just, I don't even know how many, tons of different patterns. So even if they're all only worth $3.95 a piece, there's a lot of money in there. It's going to take me time to get it, and it's going to come, you know, it's it's death by a thousand paper cuts type of style, but I don't mind that. So four bucks for that out of a $30 purchase. We're on our way. Here we've got Dragon Ball Z, this isn't even my final form. I accepted an offer on this glass. It's pretty heavy duty. Like this is a heavy glass, 10 bucks plus shipping. And then different buyer came in and picked up Dragon Ball Z, the movie, uh, the Dead Zone is this one. Uh, these tend to sell pretty well. And this guy moving out for $7.98 plus shipping. Legs, sheer energy. I think I got this from my folks maybe a year ago with some stuff to sell, some just some vintage hosiery. And it, it's not worth a ton, but it sold $7.99 free shipping. And then we've got some Toy Story. And this guy actually... Buzz Lightyear to the rescue! He still works. I think Woody is quiet, but he works too. Uh, pretty incredible. Uh, these things are from Burger King. And yes, some... Happy Meal, fast food chain toys are worth picking up and are worth selling, especially Toy Story. You know, it has a little bit of a following. And these obviously are still new in the package. We've got three to make a set. And they are going also internationally. Canadian shoppers found our store this weekend. $19.19 plus that international shipping. So not bad. Right? You know, I mean, nothing uh, earth-shattering, but not bad. You know, stales, like I said, still coming in. It's just right now, you have to be very smart about what you're spending because you're not going to be selling quite as much. So be smart about that sourcing out there, but uh, chin up. You're still going to be able to sell stuff. And great news, garage sales are getting up and going again, even here in Montana. So that's what I got for you today, guys. Thanks for hanging out. More garage sale videos coming up later this week.